Have you ever wondered where the sugar in your morning coffee comes from? No, it's not just from the supermarket. Join us on a fascinating journey from field to spoon, where we'll unveil the sweet secrets behind one of the world's most beloved commodities. Stick around till the end, and we'll share some surprising facts about sugar that you've probably never heard before. Plus, a quick DIY experiment to see the science of sugar in action right in your kitchen. Hey, sweet tooths and curious minds, ever sprinkled sugar on your cereal and wondered, hey, how does this stuff even get made? You're not alone. Today, we're embarking on a sweet journey from the fields to your kitchen. Grab a cup of tea and maybe add a spoonful of sugar because we're diving into the fascinating world of sugar production and stick around till the end for some mind-blowing sugar facts that you didn't know. All right, our sugar story begins with its two main heroes, sugar cane and sugar beet. These plants are like the yin and yang of the sugar world, each thriving in different climates. Sugar cane loves the tropical sun-kissed fields, while sugar beet prefers the cooler, temperate zones. Together they form the backbone of global sugar production. First up, cultivation. Whether it's the towering stalks of sugar cane or the robust roots of sugar beet, both require care, the right climate, and patience. Farmers play the long game nurturing these plants for months. Sugar cane takes about 9 to 24 months to mature, while sugar beets are ready in about 6 months. It's a waiting game, where the sweet reward is literally in the roots and stems. Next, we move to the exciting part. Harvesting. Imagine fields of towering cane or sprawling beet farms coming to life with harvesters. For cane, it's a bit dramatic, often involving controlled burns to remove the leaves before the stalks are cut. Sugar beet harvesting, on the other hand, is a cleaner affair, with machinas lifting the beets right out of the ground. After the harvest comes the rush to extract that sweet juice. For sugar cane, it's a trip through giant milling machines. The cane is crushed, pressed, and rolled to squeeze out every drop of juice leaving behind a dry, fibrous material called bagasse. This juice is then heated, clarifying it into a golden syrup ready for the next big step. Sugar beets take a slightly different path. After a thorough cleaning, they're sliced into thin strips and soaked in hot water. This process, known as diffusion, leaches the sugar out into a sweet liquid. Then, like their cane counterparts, the juice is purified, resulting in a clear, sugary syrup. Whether it's from cane or beet, the syrup then goes through a purification process. Lime and carbon dioxide are the unsung heroes here, clarifying the syrup by removing impurities. What follows is a meticulous evaporation process, concentrating the syrup until sugar crystals start to form. These crystals are spun in centrifuges to remove the molasses, giving us the white sugar we all know and love. Isn't it amazing how much effort goes into producing the sugar we use every day? If you're enjoying this sweet journey, why not show some love? Hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Your support means we can keep bringing you the sweetest stories behind everyday ingredients. Do you have a question or another fascinating process you're curious about? Let us know in the comments below. The magic doesn't stop there. The sugar is further dried, ensuring those crystals are perfect. It's a delicate balance to maintain the quality of sugar we expect for our coffees, cakes, and candies. Finally, our journey concludes as the sugar is packaged and shipped out to stores around the world. From the fields to your pantry, it's been quite the adventure for these sweet granules. The next time you sweeten your coffee, think about the incredible journey those tiny crystals have been on. Before we part, did you know that sugar was once considered a luxury and even used as currency? And for our DIY enthusiasts, try growing your sugar crystals at home with a simple sugar water solution and a string. It's a sweet experiment for all ages.